I'm not damaged goods. I, I, I like getting high. No, I, I take it back. I, I love getting high. Cause it just, ooh, just feels so good. And when I'm high, I don't, I don't have no worries. I don't, I don't have to think, all I have to do is, all I have to do is feel good. I don't have no worries. And I don't have to think. I don't have to think about nothing like, where the hell my kids are, because I ain't seen them in five years. And I don't have to think about hurting my mama, because I kept hurting myself until the day she died. You know, they buried my mama, and I don't even know where she is. And I don't have to think about, I don't have to think about how much drugs and money I sold my body for, for the price of my soul. You see, I like getting high. I take that back. I love getting high. Because it just, mm, just feels so good. You know, <laughs> I once heard this public service announcement. It says, using drugs kills your dreams. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Using drugs kept me alive because my dreams died a long time. You see, I sat on the number two train headed uptown after a long day of work and I heard this voice coming from the left side. It said, you are beautiful. And it screeched again, you are beautiful. I never turned to look because I had remembered that voice oh so often. And then she sat next to me with a stitch that she had not taken a bath or even had physical hygiene. Nah, but I remember. So she leaned over, whispered in my ear, you are beautiful, and never let anybody tell you that you're not, because beauty is a part of your worth. So I had mustered up the nerve to even just to turn and take a glance at her, and I stopped midway. She said, you see, girl, I chose the streets over a job. I took all of my obligations, balled them up, put them in a brown paper bag, and threw them away. Because getting high was what I wanted to do. I didn't have to ask anyone. I never had to ask permission if I could get high because I paid for it. And I paid for it dearly. I took my left hand, placed it on her thigh. I said, baby girl. When I turned, continued to look at her, I remember the face oh so familiar, because see me, I used to be her. Somewhere along the lines of the corporate high and the expensive cocktail, I lost myself. You see, from high rise to cardboard box, from plastic to paper to no cash at all. And you know, I remember having someone else pick up my groceries, but now it went from her someone else's paper or plastic from their waste basket. You see, I'm all too familiar with what sat next to me. And then I remember what my mom and dad used to tell me, yes, both mother and father were there. So those, cho those roads that I chose were mine. I took each step carefully. Every corporate meeting, every corporate party, there was a friend, a coworker, somebody getting high. You see, the blow, was too blow. It blowed more than my pockets. It blew my mind. And it must have been something about the rain, y'all. Because I could stand in the rain with a Gucci umbrella just to hide the pain that really showed on the inside. And now, all those so-called friends, I don't fit in because I no longer get high. But you see, it had to have been somewhere along the six-digit income and the corporate high. I got lost, but the night that I got so high that I didn't even remember who I was, I fell on my knees. No, I rolled over because I had not washed in five days. Phones off, 
because the ring, the sounding of the ring, it really deterred, it made my body ache. So it was something that my grandmama always told me. Baby, when there's nobody to call on, just call on Jesus. So I took my right hand and my left hand, the very two pinkies that I used to get so high with, I joined them together and said, Grandma, who should I call on? Who should I call on? So I called on Jesus and I told him, if you get me to that point that I'm in that high rise again, that I'm so high that I never want to know what high feels like other than where I was to feel whole again. Now, I've been drug free for about 22 years now. I teach a class and that very woman, she's my best friend. <laughs>